So it's been a while since we've heard anything concrete about Star Wars Outlaws. We've seen a lot of speculation online since the start of 2024 about whether it's launching in the first half of the year or whether it'll come out a bit later in 2024. But that is essentially it. We haven't heard any concrete information or anything like that until the other day. We did just get a very telling piece of news that I wanted to cover today that suggests Outlaws is likely launching sooner than we think. Now, this started about two weeks ago now when the game was actually classified in South Korea. Now, the interesting part was, and I'm not 100% sure on the actual rating system in South Korea because obviously I don't live there, but it was essentially rated not for youth, and that was partly because of the violence and stuff, but part of that was because of the gambling. That essentially confirms the game has got gambling in it, and this is the first little indicator, and in my opinion, all but confirms, but just take that with a grain of salt, that Sabak is most likely going to be in Star Wars Outlaws. That is to me very exciting and also just makes a hell of a lot of sense really. This game is about scoundrels and it would make absolute sense to be able to gamble for money or even stuff like ships and weapons. So I dare say that is something we are going to be able to do in Star Wars Outlaws. Now, less than a week after it got rated in South Korea, it got rated in Australia as well, which made it a little bit more interesting to me because obviously living here I know the ratings like the back of my hand. The game has been rated as M in Australia. Now there are two ratings here that are fairly similar, M and MA15+. M rated stuff is rated for those over the age of 15. However, that is just advisory. It's not the actual law. So if something is rated M and you're like 13, you are technically still allowed to buy it. It's more advisory for parents and stuff like that. MA15 plus though is sort of the same, but it's just that you do actually need to show proof of age to be able to buy that. So being rated M, it essentially means it is made for people about 15. 15 years of age or above. Now that is the same rating as Jedi Survivor, which keep in mind did have dismemberment and stuff like that. So I'd imagine Outlaws can still have a somewhat decent level of gore, even though it's not rated MA15+. plus. Now, whether it does or not, who knows? There's no lightsabers in this game, so I'd imagine it'll be a bit harder to dismember people and stuff, but we're just going to have to wait and see. I would imagine it is mostly rated M for that gambling side of it, rather than any gory stuff like dismemberment. Now, what makes it seem like this is launching soon is just... In general, the fact that it has been rated. Games generally don't get their ratings like eight months before launch. If it were to launch in, say, November or something, it would not be getting rated right now. So that kind of makes a late 2024 window pretty unlikely now. It's not impossible. It could just be a massive outlier and the game could just still come out like on the 31st of December. That is still technically possible, but I dare say that is essentially impossible at this point. Now to kind of prove what I'm saying there and that games generally don't get rated too long before they launch, I'm going to show you guys a few examples of, I guess, some similar games as to when they were rated compared to when they launched. Jedi Survivor, which obviously came out last year, that was rated on the 9th of January and it was planned for launch on March 17th, but it was of course delayed until April 28th. By the way, it was only just two months from when it was rated to when it was meant to launch, which is not very long at all. Jedi Fallen Order, that that was rated on the 20th of September and it launched on the 19th of November. So that was less than two months between the rating and the launch day. If we take a look at three of the most recent Ubisoft games, those being Assassin's Creed Mirage, Avatar Frontiers of Pandora, which might I add was also made by Massive Entertainment and Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown, we can also start to get a better picture. Assassin's Creed Mirage was rated on July 17th last year and it came out on October 5th. So it was about two and a half months between the rating and the launch day. Avatar, again, made not only by Ubisoft, but also Massive Entertainment who are making Star Wars Outlaws. That was rated on September 29th and came out on December 8th. That is only just over two months between the rating and the launch day. Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown, that was rated on the 20th of September and came out January 11th, roughly three and a half months. So that is a little bit longer there, but still not that far at all. Then lastly, if we look at The Division 2, which is another Massive Entertainment game, well, that game was rated on January 8th and released on March March 12th, almost exactly two months later. So going by all six of those games, which is obviously a mix of Star Wars games as well as just the most recent Ubisoft games, the average seems to be around two to three months between the classification date and the release date. Now, Outlaws was classified on March 21st, 
two months would leave that right towards the end of May, or if it were to be three months, that would be towards the end of June. AAA games generally do launch on Thursdays about 95% of the time, obviously not all the time, but I dare say this game will also launch on a Thursday. If that is true, that would mean that May 9th through to June 27th is most likely our launch window. It could also be May 2nd, but I feel like that is a little bit too soon. It'd be kind of weird to do it before May the 4th, considering they will most likely have some sort of trail there and stuff like that. So yeah, I'd say somewhere between May 9th and June 27th is most likely the launch window for this game. Now, of course, take all of that with a grain of salt. This is just genuinely speculation based on previous games and stuff. So this isn't at all confirmed, but I think at this point, I would be fairly shocked if we don't see it in or around May. We all know that obviously May is a big month for Star Wars. So I think I'm pretty confident it will launch sooner rather than later. And there is a good chance we'll be getting trailers and stuff leading up to that, as well as no doubt on May the 4th as well. Now, I'll obviously keep you guys updated on the game as we go. As soon as we get any official news, I will be completely focusing on Outlaws. That will be the focus of the channel as soon as we get anything else. So if you are interested in more Star Wars Outlaws news, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. There is plenty more on the way. But with that being said, thank you all very much for watching. You guys have a great day and may the force be with you always.